Hello and welcome back to another episode of the sketch series. Today I'll be drawing Black Canary from, I guess, DC Comics and Arrow and a bunch of different places. Um, I already did the pencil work. I figured I'd do the pencil work on most of these before the video just because it takes me probably the most amount of time. On one hand, it's the funnest part of the drawing because it's the part where I get to put things down and figure out where everything goes. And on the other hand, it's also the most frustrating because it's often the time that I erase the most and, you know, all that. Anyway, I like to go with the classic design here, which is the leather jacket and then kind of like the one piece. I don't know if it's like a swimsuit type thing. I, I have no idea what women's clothing is called. Uh, and then with the fishnets. Um, so as you can see, I'm working on the inks right now with my, mold, uh, my 0 0.3 pen so it's a pretty thin pen and uh, I've been practicing a lot on my women so I'm kind of satisfied with the way this one turned out it looks realistic the pose is pretty cool and um, I didn't like the background when it's over but we'll get there anyway you can kinda of see me going through the gist of this again I'm using the sketch the sketch phase and all the sketch lines as outlines but not necessarily um, as my here's what I need to do and follow it exactly. It's not a paint by numbers type thing. So as you can see here I'm working on the bottom which is uh, there's some boots. I think it's a little bit off camera but you'll see it a little bit later. Um, there's some boots and you can kinda see the way I drew in the fishnets. I'm not too concerned with uh, the way they the realism of them of the way they look but more so that they that they convey shape. So when I start drawing in the lines uh, you'll start to see me really worry about shape and uh, about making sure that the fishnet stockings trace the contour of the leg. So more important than the crisscross pattern is the fact that they have to contour the leg. So they're kind of rounded um, to imply that the leg is round, which obviously it would be. You can kind of see there. And if you ever stand up and look at your leg, you have like the front face of your leg if you're looking at your upper leg and then you have like the inner thigh and then the outer thigh and it's kind of a like an oval box it's really weird but uh, I try to convey that shape and uh, yes the fishnecks do look a little bit a little bit funky uh, they're kinda tough it's my first time doing them but uh, it was uh, it was fun and I'm kind of satisfied with the way it turned out you can kinda see me here putting on the final details and now we're moving on to the uh, markers now before I moved on to the markers, I erased, ev I let everything dry, then erased all the pencil lines, and then uh, kind of just let it sit there for a few minutes to make sure that the ink is dried completely, because I didn't want any smudging. I've learned that I have to be really patient with my markers to prevent smudging. Smudging is one of my my biggest gripes, um, and I'm using these colors that you see on the screen there. Uh, to kind of get the outline of the skin, I like to drop down a basic skin tone and then drop down some shadows and uh, do some highlights a little bit later. And you can kind of see me dropping down a few shadows on the skin, nothing too severe, um, nothing too drastic there, uh, but especially on the hind leg and on parts of the fishnet. Um, the hind leg, uh, the leg far in the back there, I think that's the right leg, uh, is far in the distance, so I'm going to draw it more in shadow than with any highlights. And once I've done there, I'm going to work on her outfit. Now, her signature colors are black and yellow, and uh, I went with black, yellow, and like a purple. Uh, so, it kind of looks a little bit Lakerish, so it's kind of funny. Uh, I'm not a basketball fan, I don't really, I don't really care. But, the color pattern is cool, so I thought I would drop some purples and grays in there and just kind of mix things up a little bit. Her hair is the same color as her gloves, and I'll be fixing that a little bit later by adding another another tone on top of the hair to give it more of a blonde look and less of a yellow look. Now here I come in with the purple. I decided to do the purple for the one piece that goes underneath her jacket, and then um, I'll do the jacket in, in the grays and blacks. I also did the boots in purple just so that there's consistency and there's some matching of color, because like any good superhero, you got to look good while you fight crime, right? You can't just throw together something that's functional and practical. That would be ridiculous. Uh, now I'm going in with a little bit of the dark grays here. I think this is the dark gray. 
and uh, just kind of outlining some of the shadowy areas of the leather jacket. Because the jacket is leather, it has much more reflectiveness, so I like to give it much more of a harsh contrast between light and dark. But the rest of it, not so much. So here I'm coming in with the light grays, and I didn't wait very long to come in with the light gray. I didn't let it settle because I wanted it to drag some of the some of the dark ink around. And again, I'm going over the the purples with a little bit of gray, just to get rid of a lot of that purple, I guess pop look. And I wanted it to be more muted. So there, I'm coming in with just about everything that I need. And uh, so far, it's looking pretty good. I'm kind of excited and happy with the way it's turning out. And I decided to color her lips gray, a light gray. And then I'm going to go in with that little orange marker you see on the side there a little bit later to finish off her lips. But in the meantime, I think what I do is come in with another marker and just kind of accent some of the, uh, some of the yellows, distinguish them from, from one another. And I'm trying to give her hair a slightly different tone. So you can see I'm coming in with another skin tone here, and I'm coming into the hair with that skin tone, just to give it more of a thickness and change it from the tone of the gloves and the leather jacket. So far so good. Here I am painting the lips, just drop a couple drops of red, same in the eye, because why not? I like to do, uh, I guess, pattern consistency. I don't know how to explain it. And now I'm going to come in and do the, the shadow part. And for the background, I had this cool idea of doing like because she has her canary scream I guess I don't know what you would call it um, I wanted to do these concentric circles expanding out and kind of show that you know like a like a sound wave or something but uh, I realized that because the camera is only about eight inches above the drawing um, and I ran out of uh, circles I had to start using cups to do more and more and then it became really troublesome so I just kind of stopped which uh, we'll get to that part right here. Now here I have my little uh, little ruler thing because I suck at drawing circles, and I decided to do these with the marker, uh, a marker that goes with the drawing but won't distract from the drawing. And I uh, I decided to do these concentric circles. Again, I wanted to do a little sonic scream type thing, and in doing them. You can kind of see me looking around like, yeah, I think that circle goes, yeah. And it's more of a pick and choose type thing. There's no right or wrong way to do it, I guess. It's just whatever you like, just do that. And at this point, I was like, oh, cool, I am so good at this. Then I realized, uh-oh, I need bigger circles. So I had to bring in some cups. Um, I decided to make one smaller one because why not? But I decided to bring in some cups and start drawing in the circles. And my way to fix it once I had this problem was to say, well, if I color some of them, then I could do like these color, no color pattern switches. So I needed at least one more circle. So I grabbed a big giant cup and uh, I did, I think I did this off camera. I grab a cup and I draw it on. Uh, you can kind of see it's a little bit messy, but that's okay. And now I'm going to color it in. Uh, pretty simple stuff. Same color as the other concentric circles, kind of to keep with that pattern. Now, in hindsight, I notice that the color that I'm choosing is very similar to the color of her skin, and so there's not enough distinguish to distinguish between the two, and that was kind of my bad. I should have chosen a more muted color. I thought this was muted enough, but I guess not. Um, I don't know. Maybe next time I would have gone with a softer yellow, maybe. I, I don't know. It's hard to judge in the moment, especially when you're trying to record and you're under a, a time constraint. But um, going through this circle right here, some of the things I want to reflect is that I suck at drawing women. I have always sucked my whole life. My whole life, my worst thing has been drawing humans. And now, it seems like that's most of what I draw. When I was a kid, I would draw dinosaurs, airplanes, Super Mario, Sonic the Hedgehog. No problem. Uh, I love drawing animal cartoon figures. They're so easy. They're so free. But human anatomy, and especially female anatomy, has always been a daunting task for me. Um, but I've realized that if I want to get good at this, and if I want to make anything out of this, I need to confront that, and push against it, and fight back, and take over and win. 
So this is kind of one of the first drawings that I'm looking at it and saying, you know what, I think I'm getting it. I think I'm making progress. Now for the last part of the video, what I end up doing is grabbing my white brush pen, my white uh, highlighter pen, and I'm going to go over some parts of the jacket and some parts of the glove to kind of give it a little bit of sheen. It's a glove I think is leather too. I think in the comics she has black gloves, but whatever. Those look cool. I just kind of give it a little bit of sheen, and even on the fishnets, um, and I'm not going to follow the lines on the fishnets too closely. Uh, it's mostly just um, gesturing in some of the sheen that would be trapped, some of the light that would bounce around in the fishnets themselves. And that's the zipper right there for the jacket. I was going to do open jacket, but I always do open jacket, so why not do a closed one? And I'm really happy with the way it came out. So here's some dropping some lights right there. And I don't want them to be too bright, so I kind of just wipe a little bit of the excess off and then just leave it at that. And now I'm going to move down to the boots, I think. And here are my boots. Kind of like those boots, they're nice. Um, but yeah, uh, as I was saying, it's daunting to take on a task, especially one that you're not good at, but this is uh, progress is being made. And I've done many, many figure studies of women at this point, and I'm kind of happy with the way they're turning out. So I'm really excited to move forward and continue to draw uh, more and more female characters. There's the final drawing. Um, you kind of see the way it looks right there. Uh, the background I'm not a fan of, but the drawing itself is pretty cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you had fun, and I'll see you guys next time.